This is a crazy week we got going on. I'm swinging in to the crispy to get me a smooth dozen, and then I'm heading over to get my buddy Ryan to meet Rob. And we're going to a uh, a bow archery range. Bow archery. Is that a word? Probably not. Probably just say archery range, either or. I've been wanting to get my sight tape dialed in. I'll show you guys what that is here in just a second. But right now, I gotta get me some Krispies. Don't worry, I'm ordering for everybody. Dozen glaze and a medium coffee. That's right. Not exactly the crispiest, the freshest of the creams. There he is. He's getting it. He's getting it. He's a fishing freak. What up, man? Thanks for the rad. Krispies. Ooh, how delightful. It's a good morning when Krispies. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're here. It's time to do some work. Time to get this sight tape locked in. Show you guys what that's all about. I like to let them know what's up. We're at the, uh, the archery range now. And I got one of the guys here at Cinema Creek, Dan the man, to uh, put my calibration tape on. You have calibration tape and then you have your actual tape? Mm -hmm. This is like 20, 22, 20. You need to choose which number thing it is. Okay, update on these adjustments. So up and down, up and down. I'm trying to get that orange one to dial in at 20. Intros, right at the same time. <laughs> hey guys! Hey guys! Sorry, let me do that again. Hey guys! Wasn't right. <sighs> Here we go, guys. Here's what I might have encountered. A little problem. Look at this thing. Not sure what that's good for. So, my sight tape, I've got it readjusted, but I think I might have maxed out my dial. So, I don't know. This arrow could go. It, go, it could go to the moon, it could go to Hades, I'm not sure. Easy now. <laughs> we'll test pop. We'll test pop. I love the test pop. We're about to find out though. It's, it's, oh, it's little... connected? Oh, it's, it's going. We're good? Yeah, we're just adjusting there. Okay, so now we're now it's time. It's time for the racklin, racklination. Uh, probably need to go up to that cone right there, buddy. This, this, might, uh, this might just go into the dirt. Is it going to... my arrow, by the way. What's that? Didn't lose my hair. Oh, good, good. Retrieved it? Yep. Good, all, all suckers all retrieved. <sighs> am, I, am I worried? Here we go. I'm not worried. Follow the arrow. See if you got good enough eyesight. Follow this arrow. Follow the arrow into I'm the dirt. i to shoot that deer in the middle of that deal there. Deer? There, that's a lion. No, no, no. That deer that's in the Oh, field. oh, the white target. Okay. For a big target. Okay. I, I don't know what exactly. Do you think it's going to go in the dirt? Small, I think it's going to go small. right into that uh, board down the base. Okay. Aim small, miss small. Okay. Oh, you're about to give her hell. Floater. Oh my god, this is going to be low. I can just tell you looking at the angle. Really? Yeah. Angle the dangle is going to go in the dirt. Uh oh. Oh. Oh! Whoa! Where'd it go? I don't know. Milked it! No, it did not. Yes! Come on, hang on a second. Let's take a long. This is a <laughs> I think it milked the turkey. I think it's near the turkey, right? Hit the deer. Dude, that might be also, turkey's feet. I sliced him. But hey, that's what I was aiming for. So elevation could be dialed. How about it, folks? Hey, man. I just got lucky. On a good note, you don't have to shoot anything past 60 this year, huh? I know. I'm definitely not doing that. That's for you. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you feel like a nut. How many licks does it take? I'm just throwing out random 80s, 90s commercials. <laughs> what else you guys got? Come on, hit me with something. Bop it, spin it, flip it. <laughs> sock em bopper, sock em bopper. Oh, what was that? Hit him once and he hit like him twice. Oh man, spin it. Spin it. that's good times. Let's get a couple more shots in, semi-tight, and then we'll be good to go to the next step. <sighs> it's almost time. One season's almost here. Aiming high, aiming low, aiming left, aiming right. What kind of woodland creature are we hitting? Okay, we are low. Uh, oh, we got, okay, yeah, there's that one I pulled. Dang, I am a little low still. Right. Yeah, text me. Crud. I got bad news. What? I gotta start over. 
if I want a consistent bow that I can dial out past 60 yards. Yeah. Or even 260, it's not even exact yeah, 60. Yeah, no, it like 50 maybe. Yeah, because I, I actually aimed a little high on that kitty cat. And I don't want to have to do that mentally. Be like, ah, I better come up a little bit. <sighs> I'm starting over. Dialed it out, I was all the way maxed. Yes, I'm close. You know, here's a, I hit this cat here at 60 yards. Pretty good shot, but what I had to do was mentally come up to about right here on the cat. Because I knew after shooting a consistent grouping about right there, five or six inches low, I have to make an adjustment up and I can't come up anymore. That means, I gotta start over. Are you doing it today? That's, here's the thing with Bo, you get tired. Yeah. You're not gonna shoot the same, so I'm gonna get him to adjust it. And then, I don't know, oh, that just pulls this whole cavity out. If you're gonna do something though, Better do it right. Such a process. So hopefully we're gonna be able to come out here and pop this kitty cat right in the heart and lungs, and then we'll know. Actually, I'm probably not gonna use the kitty cat. I'm gonna use an actual target. And then I gotta go back and make fine tuning adjustments to the pins themselves to make sure the 20 and the 30 are on par. And then what we have is a cool system where I can take that 40 pin, it's called the floater pin, and dial it out to whatever I want, dial out to 100 yards. It's not a realistic situation. And we all know that my hunting season this year is probably gonna be cut short due to little Emmy. I had to get things dialed in on a short basis last year as well with brain surgery. So anyway, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And we're taking the time to do it today. All right, I'm ready to shoot a group. Made our adjustment, put our spot hog at the 20, almost shot a bull. I was shooting at the deer, but I almost shot it in the heart and lungs, and it's a tiny little deer. It's only about a foot tall deer. As long as you can shoot a pie plate at 60 yards on a consistent group, I hear that's that's decent. That's that's okay. So that's what we're gonna see if we can do right now. If I'm in the deer, I'm I'm not touching it. Oh, you're in? oh I'm in the deer. All three of them. Were. Oh, we're, we are pie plate central here. That's what I was getting mine into before I went inside. Oh yeah, you were probably actually just working on aim at that point. That's good. That's that's dead deers. That's a little tiny deer, huh? He's like, what, foot and a half tall? He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Rob spent probably four hours out here dialing in at 60 yards to where he was hitting, hitting a squirrel's head. And then uh, he goes in there and they're like, well, you really, as long as you're hitting within a pie plate, you're, you're probably pretty dialed. He was like, good, I just, spent two hours of my life trying to hit a squirrel. As long as there's consistency, at least for me, I'm not trying to hit the archery tour anytime soon. I'm just trying to kill an animal and put it in my fridge. The main mission has been accomplished, y'all. I still need to do the fine tuning of the pins themselves. I can actually do that at the tree house. But what happens when you're shooting that many arrows is your shoulders, your little muscles start getting tired and then you start getting a little wobbly. So I noticed uh, when I went back in to shoot at, at 20, I was left, right, high, and then I just said, you know what, it's time to shut it down. And I gotta work on my brain, y'all. It's time to go down and visit the doctor. I gotta get up early in the morning and, and go see what's happening inside of my skull. Okay, after a extended period of break time, I am ready to go again and finish this thing off. I'm hoping because I spent so much time on my pens last season that I won't have to do much adjustments. I apologize for the cicadas, gosh dang. That's how you still know it's summer, right there. Cicadas. Any you guys know the life history of cicadas, by the way? It's super weird. Google it. We haven't got to enjoy the outdoor aspect of this house very much yet because it's just been so hot. I mean, Steph's pregnant. She hardly even goes outside in this Texas heat right now. But this is an incredible outdoor space. I mean, we're close to the lake. You know, I got the bass boat over there. We have these woods. We have nature and everything. But the way these trees are spaced out and the elevation capabilities that I have with the two decks makes it the ultimate place to practice archery for deer hunting out of a bow stand. These are, I'm gonna memorize these trees with different yardages so I can go 20, 30, 40, 35, 25, whatever. So every day I'm home, I can come shoot. I can start memorizing distances. That's another thing is just having those trees and having that scenario where you're elevated looking and then just using your range finder to just get a, a feel for the distances. You know, you only have a few seconds usually when a good buck walks out to, to, to make that shot. So if you already know, gosh dang it, cicadas. Hello. Oh, I know why. 
<laughs> Whoops, forgot to dial it back. Yeah, we're doing it now. So that's my last shot. That's when I had it on 40, my 40 pin right here. I was messing around and I had it dialed to like 35. So both these shots are straight in line. Uh, the elevation was just wrong, so I adjusted it back to 40 and thumped it. It's time to test this sight tape out, guys. I'll show you why I went through all this trouble. Okay, this is where it gets really fun right here. You guys see this target over here? I don't know exactly what distance it is because I just flung it out there. I'm not getting a good read either. 30... Three is what it looks like. I'd like to get a little bit more distance than that. Let's scoot back. Let's see what this is right here. Thirty-four. Okay, thirty-four. We're at thirty-four. It's about a thirty-five yard shot. Now, normally, I would have to go in between my pins in this situation, but let me show you what this thing does. So this is the sight right here, and what this allows me to do is dial out to a specific uh, area, a distance. So I have the, my pin, I have my orange pin right here. If you guys take a look at that orange pin, that is my bottom pin, it's my floater pin. Now it's set at 40. So if I shot at 40, that should be on. Green is 20, red is 30. But when we come over here, that's on 40 right now. So if I'm at 34 yards, so if I know that with my rangefinder, all I have to do is adjust this and I'm gonna go, there's 35, and we'll just eke it right in there at 34. Oh, yeah. So these are my first two shots right here, which got in the white. That one's touching, but that one's in there. This last one I pulled, I pulled high. That's pretty awesome. So I can dial this thing out. I'm not a good shot at long distances. I don't practice that much, but I definitely will. Let's just say you get in a situation where you're in a stand and then there's a buck that's walking in the field and he's not coming in the tree line and then I don't have a pin for, I don't have a pin for 60. Dial this thing out and then bam, you can get exactly, you can at least take a shot. If you feel good about it, you can take a shot. There's a rabbit right there. Little bunny. I'm pretty surprised to see a bunny right there, and he's being really calm around me, but I'm surprised because there is literally a fox den. I've recently found a fox den, probably 40 yards behind that rabbit, and so anyway, they usually clean up the rabbits and the squirrels and all the ground animals. Hey, little buddy. Hey. But you better watch out for the foxes, because they're right over there. Got a little Amy on the way. I've only got a couple of hunts. I gotta make them count. All right, make every hunt count. That should be a thing. Make every sit count. It kind of works. Anyway, that's my philosophy. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I'm not a bow expert, so if you're looking for bow expertise, I'm not the channel, but I do like to show you guys things that I am trying to do or I love to do and then walk you through them. And I try to do a good job showing the steps, but if I miss something, let me know in the comments down below. This is one of my last videos in town this week and then I'm heading to Houston to go see the brain surgeon and then I'm actually heading up north for a few days. So go ahead and sub it and follow me on the socials guys and I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day. And I thank you guys for being here. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.